welcome back to my channel. So today's video is a very exciting one. I'm doing a charity shop haul again. So I've been rummaging around my local charity shops. You might know them as secondhand shops or thrift shops. Also, I went to a few vintage shops as well, and I picked up some beautiful items, and I've kind of been looking for some, you know, jazzy going out outfits, just some, you know, fancy things that as we can finally go out again, you know, I wanted something a bit new, but sustainable. So for those of you who don't know, you can visit your local charity shops and find amazing pieces of fashion at ridiculous prices. Half the things you're going to see today were one pound. Like we're talking, it's literally the price of a chocolate bar and you can get yourself a one of a kind stunning outfit that no one else is gonna wear. And it's just a really great way of kind of recycling your fashion. You know, you bring in an old bag of stuff and you come out with a load more. You know, it's just a really fun way of doing it. And I know me and my mum love doing it that way. But before I jump into the stuff I got, I just wanna show off my fabulous outfit. You can't see it, but my trousers have a tiger embroidered on the leg and I just I, I just wanted to show it off so here is the, the tiger but I got these are old Topshop jeans but I got them on eBay a few years ago and they were like a massive size and then I paid to have them tailored so these are literally made for me and only me and I love that but anyway let's jump into the video so it does appear that there's definitely a theme of today's video and that is glitter Everything is sparkly one way or another. So I will start with the bag because I only got one kind of accessory and I fell in love with the beadwork on this bag. It kind of looks like shells. I don't know if my camera will pick it up. They're like little arches all over it. So they kind of look like scallops. Is it gonna, you might be able to see it, but it's beautiful and it's just this like gray beadwork kind of little bag. And what sold this to me is it actually fits my phone in it. And in today's world, phones are massive. And so quite a lot of my little clutches don't fit my phone in. And it's the most annoying thing. I never wear, like if the bag doesn't fit my phone in it, I don't wear it. And so it's kind of like my requirement now. Now it has to fit my phone in it for me to buy it. And this one did, so it's come home with me. And the strap is all beaded as well. And I just really liked it and it was, wait for it, one pound, a whopping one pound. And I just think that is so cute. But little beaded bags, you'll probably find them in every single charity shop you go into. You've got them from all different eras, you've got the modern day ones, you've got the real vintage ones, and they can be so beautiful. And I think they're really timeless and classic. Like they never go out of fashion and they just make any kind of evening outfit just a little bit more special, I think anyway. So I love that. And then I'm trying to decide what outfit to show you first. Oh, so many choices. Okay, I'll start with this one. I literally got myself a disco ball dress and I am so here for it. So I, I literally found this one yesterday. And look at this. So it's covered in these kind of like larger circle sequins. And it, it's just so slinky. It's almost like snake skin. So I will throw this one in a second for you, but I just loved it. It's just kind of like a bodycon cowl neck but there's just something about this fabric that it, it's like a, it almost looks like metal, doesn't it? It's like, it looks like chain mail. I've been trying to pinpoint what this reminds me of and it's metal. It literally looks like it's chain, but it's fabric and it's really kind of slinky fabric. So I think it's gonna really hug nicely. And maybe with the handbag, it'll be too much, but I love it nonetheless. So I'll throw that one on for you guys. So I think even if I got this dress made for me, I couldn't have got a better fit. Like this is a perfect fit. I feel a million dollars in this and the entire outfit cost me under 10 pounds because even the shoes I got second hand a few years ago. Just look at this. Like I am going to be wearing this every time I go clubbing I think. I am just in love with it and the bag is so gorgeous as well. No, I am just, I'm in love with how this fits as well. And it literally looks like kind of that chainmail dress that I was talking about. They're really in at the moment. You see like the fast fashion companies selling like the silver ones or the gunmetal gray ones or the black ones. And they're kind of like these slinky dresses. This is literally a version of that, but my own version. So I love it. But just look at that. <laughs> it's just amazing. I am so happy with this purchase. Not just because of the price. I would pay a lot more for something that fits like this. It's just, this is just bang on my style. I love this one. The next dress I picked up is this gorgeous kind of pink glitter metallic iridescent, I don't know how to describe it dress, but look at that. So this one 
is by Pullin Bear originally, and the one you just saw was only a Primark dress, but I mean, va va voom to say the least. So this one is kind of like just a nice little straight cut one, and it has these two little slits in it. And the thing that sold me this is, it's just the fabric. I didn't really care what it looked like on. I was like, as long as my body is in this and I can move, this under like disco lights or in the evening light, I'm just gonna be so sparkly and I am so here for it. I just literally, I am just, I fell in love with this fabric. Like, isn't that just gorgeous? So anyway, I will throw this one on, but again, it was a whopping one pound. <laughs> So this is it on and I am just obsessing over how this fabric catches the light. I really hope it's portrayed over camera for you guys because it is just, I'm literally a disco ball and I love it. And I love that it's a little bit pink. Like I don't have many kind of pinky outfits. Like all my going out outfits are usually quite, you know, dark or like silver or black. That is just my usual go-to. So to have a sparkly pink, I love it. Like it's just something a little bit different. I think I still have the tag on it, so that can come off because we're definitely keeping it. And literally, I'm not even joking when I tell you these are one pound dresses. Like it is amazing what you can find in your local charity shops, like check them out. And also you find brands that you've never tried before and you just, it, it's just amazing. You get really unique pieces. So I love it, but just look at this dress. <laughs> I. I just, I'm kind of speechless, like the seams and everything, it's just gorgeous. I love it. And also when the prices are as low as they are, you try more things and you kind of experiment with your style a bit more because you kind of are like, ah, oh, you know, I wouldn't normally go for this, but for that price, I'm going to risk it. And you know, it's not really a risk because the money goes to charity regardless. So it's kind of like, it's a win-win. It really is a win-win. So no, I love this one. The next things I picked up are crazy like i can't i still to this day cannot believe i found this this is an iridescent gold to blue bodysuit and it's almost like corseted like this style is so in right now and it was just sat there waiting for me it was like calling my name and i was like i'm coming i just i'm in love with this it is just perfect it's everything i dream of in a bodysuit and then I also managed to find this super cute little sparkly mini skirt, but look how sparkly that is. So I'm not sure this is going to go together, but I'm going to show it to you together just because I feel like it's an outfit and it's all sparkly, so of course it's going to go. Anyway, let's put this one on. So I don't know if this could be any more perfect, even if I tried. Like this top is to die for. And because it's got that metallic blue in it, it's gonna look amazing with jeans, little skirts, and even though these are completely different glitters, because they're glitters, I think this just works together. Like, I love this. <laughs> it's just so much fun shopping in charity shops because you never know what you're gonna find. And to find an outfit like this, I, I just can't quite get over it. Like this is just, I've never seen anything like this. And I just love it. And it's so in at the moment, these like bustiers or like corset style tops. So I'm just, look at how it catches the light. I am in love with this outfit. And it even goes with the bag as well. A whopping three pounds, this look. <laughs> but no, I love this one. I just find in charity shops, I try a lot more things. You know, I go for more risky outfits or, you know, I'll be like, oh, I'm not sure on this, but... I'm gonna try it. And that's where you find your gems and you find your style. And I just love, I will wear this out and I can nearly 100% guarantee there won't be another girl in it. And I can't guarantee that with, you know, if I order something off the fast fashion websites now, you know, probably a hundred girls are doing the same. So I do just love the uniqueness of shopping in kind of vintage shops or charity shops. You just find little gems, you really do. The last thing I got is these gorgeous sparkly black trousers. Now these are literally like the trouser version of the skirt you just saw, but they are so lovely and they are really thick. Like these just feel like really lovely quality. So I'm really happy I found these and they're kind of like a wide leg fit. So in my head, I'm thinking I can just lounge around the house in these or I can throw on a pair of heels and a cute top and wear them going out. They're like a versatile pair of trousers, which I'm here for. And uh, these are by a mate called Nobody's Child. Now I've not tried anything from them before, but 
these seem really lovely so i will throw these ones on for you guys probably with the same bodysuit but they are such a look i love these so these are even the perfect length for me like it's just and it's totally potluck but if someone your size and your style donates some things to a charity shop you can get so much luck when you go in there and you'll just find so many gems like these trousers they're just so versatile like they look great with heels they're not too long and oh, it's just such an outfit i just love it <laughs> i think they're so fun and they're so comfortable as well which is just a win and i probably never would have batted an eyelid at these in a shop you know because they're kind of the style that i'm like will it look okay will it suit me but when they're so cheap in a charity shop it's like you know what why not just try it and i am so glad i did these are so fun no i love these love it <laughs> but i would just like to say don't expect to find you know amazing things first hand first time just check out your local charity shops in your area and give them a chance you know don't go there with any expectations just go there with an open mind and have fun rummaging. Like that's the thing, you've got to give yourself the time to look through the racks. Don't expect to just like see it right there, you know, it does sometimes happen like that. But actually go there and search through it. And if you guys need any advice on how to actually find things in charity shops and how to like, you know, the process I go through when I'm looking through stuff, I'm sure I can make something like that for you guys in the future. But just give it a try and work at it, you know, go once a month and you'll be surprised the things you find. And also I just realised this is glowing red because I've got like the evening sun coming in and I have an orange bag here that I think is, there we go, it's a reflecting orangey red which was kind of confusing me in my uh, viewfinder on my camera, I was like what is that? Anyway. I love these. So I know I keep adding more and more points before I'm concluding this video, but the other thing I just wanted to mention is that charity shops are a brilliant place to find fabric and materials. So you can go there not thinking anything's going to fit you and learn some simple tailoring techniques and you can just look at it as a fabric shop because the prices of charity shops are actually cheaper than buying the fabric itself brand new. So if you can find an outfit that might not be your size at all, but you love the fabric, make something else out of it, reuse it, recycle it. It, it just means you can make those one of a kind pieces and it's such a fun way of doing it as well. It's like a hobby. So um, no, I really recommend it and I'm gonna do more videos like this in the future to really encourage it, but you know what to do check out your local charity shops. <laughs> That's all I got for you guys today. I really hope you enjoyed today's haul video. Amazingly, this entire video cost me six pounds. And that's because I had six items, including a bag. It's crazy. You guys have to check out your local charity shops. And they might not be pound stores, but they will definitely be a lot more affordable than your average kind of fast fashion shops or high street brands. And you can find such amazing items because a lot of people buy way more than they actually wear. So you get some really high quality items that have never been worn. And I think charity shops and thrift shops, they're so important because they stop things being thrown away. So if you don't wear something and you can't make it work for yourself give it to charity and they can pass it on to someone who will wear it and you can kind of do that swap in kind of thing where you give donate some stuff and then you can have a look around and pick yourself a jazzy new outfit for a fraction of the price and charity shops they're a win-win all your money goes to charity so yes you're getting something back for your money but you're also helping a really good cause so I'm just all for it. I really recommend you guys check it out. And also for menswear, I find my dad and brother so many lovely items because again, people buy them as presents for people that never get worn or you know, they just don't wear things. And you can find some real gems in charity shops as well as homeware. I, I'm not at the point yet where I'm gonna be buying homeware stuff, but when I am, it's gonna be secondhand, it's gonna be vintage, it's gonna be antique, and I will take you guys with me because I think that could be quite fun to see. But anyway, I'm rambling now. As usual, my social media will be linked down below if you'd like to follow me on there. Let me know what you thought of this type of video because I love shopping in charity shops and I know my channel is very fast fashion orientated and obviously I will continue that because that's the income side of my channel. But I would also love to incorporate more sustainable fashion as well because that's kind of like my personal 
passion is sustainable fashion. So I kind of have a mental five year plan where I will slowly do more kind of sustainable fashion shopping and like creative things rather than constantly fast fashion. But anyway, that's just an update on me. But I do hope you're all doing well. Like and subscribe for more. And yeah, hopefully I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.